something because like he wasn't very big big he was tall but he was kind of lanky but like man he was tossing those dudes around like nothing well there's some dudes that are just genetically freak strong yeah you know like our buddy jeff out there jeff doesn't even work out and there's this grip thing that you grab and he beats all of us hmm. everybody works out every day he grabs this thing it's like <laughs> got that inner strength just got natural strength yeah some people just have better genes than us yeah and imagine yeah, imagine like, that guy on pcp oh my goodness you're not <laughs> yeah. gonna hold him down he's barefoot and he looks like kenny loggins yeah <laughs> <laughs> and he's got some country strength he got country he's got strength. country strength bro for real bro those guys that work on farms that is 100 percent legit yeah when you think about hay bales that's just like doing kettlebells all day well look they 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 even um they even suggested that this was like hard shit when they they made rocky do it in rocky exactly. four exactly they made him do old school farm <laughs> yeah. work and shit yeah Dude. They, you ain't fast anymore we gotta we gotta focus on your strength yeah and all that shit takes strength it takes strength build strength yeah f farm people are probably the strongest <laughs> fucking people on earth that's why they made such good wrestlers they're very sturdy yeah well also it's a, it's a huge thing up there wrestling's like this long-standing tradition in like the midwest but also there's a lot of fucking farmers out there and those kids are savages oh yeah imagine the like how they were doing those uh backyard matches you know yeah. in certain neighborhoods imagine uh -huh. out there on the farm Oh my the god! The matches they're throwing out oh there. Oh my god! For sure, that's to, happening right now to entertain themselves. Did you do you know Joe Lozon, the MMA fighter? Yeah, him and his brother used to have real fights in the backyard of a cookout. <laughs> Go to Joe Lozo, Lozon versus Dan Lozon. They beat the fuck out of each other in the backyard, like brothers. real brothers, full on MMA fight. And it, no beefing, at a pig just cookout. No beefing, just fighting. Just fighting fighting so look at this oh this is God. these crazy motherfuckers at a cookout they're at a fucking cookout so everyone's hanging around they're in their gym shorts in the front yard and they're gonna fight so this is no beef all sport no. just this for is sport. this is just we're gonna have a fight i mean this is a full-on 100 percent mma fight look there's bricks behind them <laughs> where's look at the fucking the, look at the bricks the landscaping bricks where's mom <laughs> Mom's cheering on. Don't be a pussy. <laughs> Mom's cheering them on. This is, it's fucking amazing because their friends are all just sitting around. By the way, both of these guys, world class yeah. MMA fighters. Yeah. Joe Lozon is an elite MMA fighter, and his, his brother was a fucking straight up killer when he was young. Yeah, these dudes been around for a yeah. long time. Yeah. So it, Dan and Joe just beating the shit out of each other in front of everybody. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> this is crazy. This is a 100% oh, full-on fight. Oh, He just hit him with a hard ground and pound right hand from the top. If we didn't have beef beforehand, we Joe have Lozon beef Joe Lozon with a deep half sweep. That's a beautiful sweep he just hit him with. He hit Ooh. him with a deep half. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. my goodness. Brothers. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> For no money. This is no money. He got the choke in. I'd like to play the song from he got it. He got it. and Eva Lee, he Brothers. Got him. Oh, oh, you fucking didn't even let go. Tap, 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 tap. Fuck you. They got beef now. He got mad that he didn't let go when he tapped. That is wild. <laughs> that is wild. That's wild, man. Joe's the older brother? Yeah. That's why he didn't let go. Yeah. <laughs> that is wild. <laughs> But some guys that grow up with brothers are like the toughest dudes. Yeah. Because they're, they're always fighting. They're fighting they're with their brothers all the time. They're always fighting, yeah. They're not worried about conflict. They're ready to go. Yeah. They even, experience it constantly. It's like being in prison. <laughs> yeah, and when it, what's crazy is if they get into a fight on the street with other guys, they're beating the shit yes. out of those other guys. They're so used to fighting. <laughs> yeah, they're so but used to. But he can fuck with you the, the other way too, man. I had a buddy of mine who had a brother who terrorized him. His brother was just like super mean, beat the shit out of him, like would physically beat him up all the time. Mm. And he was bigger and older. He's bully. Yeah. And this guy was like a good looking guy. He was smart, but he always had this fucking terrible insecurity. There was this thing about him. And then one time we had a conversation about it. He's like, my brother just beat the fuck out of me mm. my whole life. He's like, your brother, he was like living with, like he was being terrorized by his brother and nobody did anything about it. His and brother was the probably- parents didn't want to get involved. Yeah. That's crazy. It when, just fucked up his head forever. When you get a, a, a sibling that's abusing you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because you, you really can't do shit about <sighs> it. 
But that's, you know, hey, guys like that, at this point, that they're still having this hang up, psilocybin. Yeah. Go to sure. a therapist, do that treatment, and it'll help you. It'll, it, it's almost like you know when when people go do the the ayahuasca thing and they got the shaman guiding mm -hmm. you through. You know what I mean? And and you need guidance with with stuff like also, that. Also, you need guidance because there's probably a bunch of medications that people take that you would never want to take with mushrooms. Oh hell like, no! You would want to talk to a doctor. Like, I don't, there's got to be, right? Like, yeah. what medications are dangerous when mixed with psilocybin? Google that. Because there's got to be some stuff like MAO inhibitors and stuff that would make you f lose your fucking marbles. Oh, yeah. Like, McKenna told some story about once about who he took some sort of an MAO inhibitor and mushrooms at the same time, and he almost lost his mind. I believe that was the combination he was talking about. That's crazy. But it was a, it's just way too much. And it took him a while before he could sort of, the way he was describing it was much more elo 